Data is becoming the most critical asset for any organization. Many companies are trying to generate value from it. And they are putting their attention towards big data strategies. But let me tell you one thing. Big data is a misleading and really confusing term. Most of the times we just think about volume. But data goes beyond that. We need to think about data complexity. And data complexity refers not only to volume, velocity, or variety. It refers as well to your IT strategy, to your data-driven culture, and even to data management, the way we process, we access, and we protect data, our most valuable asset. In my humble opinion, it's just not about data. We need to have a proper business need opportunity. And this is what is most important when we try to start a big data strategy. How is it that you came to England? My wife. Uh, is she English? No, not at all. She is from Argentina. And the company she was working for, well, they told them, you should move abroad. So we discussed that at home. And we said, yes, why not? It would be a nice experience to be abroad, to be in another country and experience the culture, you know, other ways to speak with people. How long have you been living in England? Three years. And you, you plan to stay for longer? Well, we don't know. Maybe we will move to another country in the future. In this age, all companies should embrace big data technologies. This is a long and complex path, and many of them will fail. In order to avoid that, they need new roles, such as the big data engineer or the data scientist. The challenge companies are facing, it's not just about data. If they want to become a data driven organization, they need to transform their employees. That means moving from information workers to analytical concerns. It's not enough to have digital capabilities such as Microsoft Office. You need to be able to understand algorithms, the benefits that they provide, and the risks and limits that they have.